guys. Uh, I'm glad you're, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm at home a little bit again, but uh, you can pray for me. I think I'm doing better than I deserve as always. And uh, tonight I'd just like to talk about something from the book of Ephesians. I've been studying some things and writing something for, uh, somebody's asked me to do something. And, and Ephesians is a great book. All the Bible is a great book, but I'm going to use a verse, Ephesians 4 and verse 25. It says, we're for putting away lying, speaking every man um, truth with his neighbor. Now, I just use that verse. I could use many verses in here. It's talking about putting away falsehood, lying, half-truths, and so on and so on, and speak the truth to your neighbor. And, and, and basically, the scriptures, particularly in Ephesians, talks about being members one of another. And uh, in Ephesians, I think if you'll study it carefully, you'll see that uh, uh, the apostles reminding the Christians that uh, they, of course, we no longer who we were and what we were. Uh, we're new creatures, renewed in Christ, and we know that principle. And they, they, uh, what it says really basically is they used to find it acceptable to be greedy and selfish and half truths and live for self, and now it's a new life. In the chapter one, it talks about in Ephesians the importance of. Uh, you know, spiritual blessings that we have and enjoy because of Christ. And then, of course, our need for wisdom because of that. And chapter 2 talks about being alive in Christ. We're, we're one in Christ. Uh, we're fellow citizens. Uh, chapter 2. Chapter 3 talks about the followers uh, and, um, uh, and fellow heirs. When in reality, this is a reference to the Gentile believers. And if you study that out in chapter 3, you'll see what I'm saying. Grace, confidence, boldness. And we have access to the Father. Uh, and unity in the body and children of light. And we should act like it. That's chapter four. Unity in the body. So to, I use the word, the verse here about lying and speaking every man a truth of his neighbor, remembers one of another, and so on. Because, because it used to be acceptable in all of our lives, uh, you know, whether we admit it or not, to not be honest and to not be truthful all the time. To be somewhat manipulative and maybe born about my envy and jealousy or whatever, but those things are gone now. We've been redeemed. And, and it was used to be that people thought, you know, listen to me, we really, really were pretty selfish in our thinking. God has liberated us from that kind of thinking. And when we become new believers in Christ, the scripture says we're new people and, and we're different, not because of ourselves, but because of Christ. And, and uh, we have a new identity. We are different and that difference should show out in the way we live and how live and how we interact with each other, how we treat each other, and so on. And one of the differences then would be this this particular verse of speaking the truth. There's no longer, there shouldn't be any more any deception whatsoever, manipulation, or in any way those kind of things. No longer putting a spin on our taken things. We we see that today all over. You, you look for the truth, and everyone has their own codified their own uh, spin on it and put their own light on it. As Christians, we shouldn't operate that way. We, we are, should speak the truth, and truthfulness is a marker of what it looks like you know, to be a Christian. But it talks about here, it really talks about one another, and it talks about being members one of another. And yet, you know, this is one of the scriptural indications of something very important. It, being members one of another goes far beyond our physical family. As a matter of fact, the Word of God is very clear in this way. It's the idea of treating our neighbor and the idea of treating our brothers and sisters in Christ and so on, it simply makes sense. We are members one of another, each of us. So we should interact in such a way. I think sometimes if we're not careful, husbands, wives, and our families, don't ever be a kind of a Christian or Christian family that seeks solely to isolate yourselves from brothers and sisters in Christ because that's part of the community. We're members one of another. We belong to each other. We're, we're not our own. And we belong to Christ. And we should live deeper every day in that reality. You say, well, why did you start off with talking about being truthful? Well, I think sometimes we miss the point a little bit. When we think of being truth, we think of the opposite truthful. We think of the opposite of that, which is being or telling lies. We're to speak the truth of God. And the truth of God is clear. We should be honest with each other. We should speak everyone truth to his neighbor. We are members one of another in God's kingdom. If we're to speak truth, shouldn't the premise of that be based upon the word of God? We're not alone in this. 
We're, we belong to each other. We've been bought with a price. God has born us into his family. You, every couple, every child you have, every member of a local church, every member of God's family, we belong to one another. That's why it's important to be honest and truthful and to speak godly truths, not to manipulate, not to think of your own selves or my own self, but to think of others. Ultimately, to think of Christ and desire his truth. Well, you guys have a great week and think about this this week and I'll see you next week. Enjoy your time tonight. God bless you. We'll see you next time.